We can't leave the house. No. You're joking, right? No. So I figured with the fact that we are all quarantined, it would be interesting for not only you guys to see what we are doing today, but also to give you a little entertainment because just like us, you're in your house and you still have your electronics. So here's a video for you guys to watch that are all stuck in your house. So here's my idea. We are going to have a super successful school day. Yeah. Okay, but seriously, so this quarantine for us is not very different from what our regular schedule would look like. Um, the only difference for us is we don't have an actual schedule. We do not have our Wednesday activities, our Thursday, or our Friday activities. So to fill those, I am just going to really focus on the things on my list that never get done to include YouTube videos and cleaning out some closets, um, stuff like that. But I'm really also going to focus on being intentional with our family time. So this means for me, my kids love going outside and going to the, we have like a little tiny pond in our backyard. I'm gonna go down there with them. We're gonna watch movies as a family together. We might even order takeout tonight to support our local restaurants and to ease up some of the tension in the house. I want this time to be enjoyable for the kids, not stressful. Um, and as like easy going and laid back as it can be. With that being said, we are still doing school. Um, but yeah, we'll see how everything turns out. Let's go do this day. All of y'all who have never done the whole stay-at-home mom slash teacher slash all the things um, this is a really great tip so in order to keep you from going insane when you have the time to do things you need to squeeze them in so it is actually only 930 so I'm gonna go ahead and get a little prep done like really tiny prep I'm going to make um, this yellow rice, it's kind of, it almost tastes like a buttery chicken. You know the like packs of the like, um, of the yellow Spanish rice? It kind of reminds me of that. So step one to the rice. Do you remember, Em? Boil. Boil what? Rice. Water. Water. All right, so Emmy is my helper today. This is also a cooking class, so you can write that down for your homeschool hours. Okay. I'm waving. <laughs> yeah, and Daisy, I'm just working on keeping alive. Um, Emmy is going to be our helper today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pour water into our pot. Go all the way to the two. The stove is not on right now. Good job. Okay, so these are all the spices we're going to be using. We have salt, turmeric, Better than bouillon vegetable broth. I'm sure you've seen this on my channel. These are all of the spices we're going to be using. So Emmy is going to be putting these in our bowl today. Our stove is still not on. I'm letting her do all this and then I'll turn it on. Okay, so we're going to put about one teaspoon of better than bouillon. So we're going to take that like that. Now stir it in the water. Okay, now we're going to add some garlic powder. Look at the top, look at the top. Does it have holes? Yeah. No, so you gotta go slow. Just shake it, there you go. Oh, keep going, you can do more. Keep going, we like the garlic. And then we're gonna add about a teaspoon of turmeric. This is gonna make it what color, Emmy? Do you remember what color? What color is our rice that we had yesterday? Orange. Orange, kinda orange, kinda yellow, right? Okay, put it in there. Orange. Oh, oh. <laughs> we can't cook it with a spoon in there. We definitely cannot cook it with a spoon in there. Okay, so as you saw, that was super simple. You add all the ingredients into the pot, and if you have some littles that are trying to help you, 
just be aware that you do not want to turn anything on until their job is done. So I let her add all the, all the water, all the spices, everything. Now I have kicked them out. I'm turning the heat on the stove. And once this comes to a boil, then I'm going to add my rice. I'm going to cover it for about 18 to 20 minutes. Then I'm going to remove it from the heat. Do not lift the lid. Put another 10 minute timer. So the total time for this is about 30 minutes. Put that 10 minute timer with the lid continuing to stay on and then it'll be ready. At that point, we're going to add a few more ingredients. We're going to add in some coconut oil and then we're going to add in some nutritional yeast to add that buttery creaminess at the end. So I'll show you guys that at the end. So I know a lot of you moms that are new to all of this are probably freaking out about the fact that you have to homeschool, you have to cook, you have to actually stay at the house all day, which is the scariest part for me. But Honestly, don't stress out over the schooling. Like you would be so surprised at how much your kids will actually learn just in day-to-day -day activities. If they ask to be involved in something, this I'm preaching to the choir here, y'all. If they ask to be involved in something like helping you prep or something like that, don't think of it as a task. Like I gotta get this cooking done, so no, I can't use your help right now. Just think of it as a learning experience and then don't stress out so much about the book work that they have to get done. They're really, like you would be honestly so surprised to see how much they flourish or even to see what they're actually good at or where their true interests lie when you actually give them the freedom to do what they want to do during the day. Besides obviously letting them watch TV all day, which TV is going to be in our routine as well. This is my bed. Okay. And then this is Amy's little baby's bed. Mm -hmm. This is her, it's room, this is storage, the kitchen. Four bottles, a little baby chair, piano that has like a little flop up and down like piano, a little bookshelf, and the fireplace. Oh, I like this hangout room up here. Oh yeah, that's the living room. I love that. Emmy, let me see your hiking outfit. Ooh, fashion. Oh, fashion girl. Oh, fashion! Fashion girl! Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Alright, walk. We actually have like a pretty neat little setup back here. There's some really cool little things. Um, we have some really like old pine trees back here that are really mature um, and a few hardwoods that are really mature. I'll show you guys. But it's so hard to get to you Cause when you see the sun I see the moon Buckets of water Millions of clouds Miles of road Just to get where you are oh, I wish Yep, there she is! Without a screen cutting through buckets of water, millions of clouds, miles of road just to get where you are. Oh, I wish it wasn't so far. Thousands of dollars just to be near. Countless thoughts of you being here. Oh, I wish. 
up. Look at that massive slug. It's like the size of my finger. Oh my. Oh, we're gonna grab it. Daddy, I'm gonna get a picture of me by myself. With the puppy? Okay, ready? <laughs> One. <laughs> Don't hurt it. Yeah. It shrunk up a lot. Help me out. I need to go and see them now. Pick me up off my feet. I know that. This tree is so cool because not only does it have like its own like moss environment growing on it, but if you see, it's actually laying down. So the root system is all up, but then it started growing back down into the ground. So the top of it broke off and all of this is dead. Like, all of that's dead. Anyway, but it grew up this way and the whole top is all still alive. So interesting. I spotted a swamp monster. Look at its four little legs. They're perfect for exploring through these treacherous terrains. Oh, I think it's on to something. I think it's on to something. Mate, mate, what do you think it's on to? That this is an endangered species, a rare sighting of a four-legged swamp rat. Good thing I have been well trained on my swamp rat call. Here, swamp rat, swamp rat, swamp rat. Oh Here, swamp rat, swamp rat, swamp rat. <laughs> All right, we are back inside. Um, it is 11:30, so ooh. so we were outside for a good hour, hour and a half. And remember, I already made that rice, so that is ready. And I'm just gonna throw together. I'm literally going to steam up some broccoli and throw in some mixed vegetables and that's going to be lunch. Rice and mixed vegetables. So, plenty of nutrients, Mama, plenty of good sustainable can energy. Can not mix my rice up? Okay, I won't mix it together, but you're going to eat the vegetables, right? Okay. This slug stuff is so hard to get off. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah, you got slug on you. It's literally so hard to get off. Okay, so for my lunch, I am having this pita wrap, um, and I use these um, Joseph's pita bread, um, and then I yesterday, or a few days ago, I made um, these like falafels, so I threw some of those in there. I had some leftover pico, I threw some cabbage, and mm. Mm. The dressing I threw on there is Sir Kingston's. It's a pepperoncini Italian. And it is so delicious. I'm probably gonna have a salad with this. Okay, the swamp monster was just on my couch. This is the point where I start getting overwhelmed in the day because stuff like this starts happening. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I gotta go wash the swamp monster. All right, the craziness is now starting. The swamp monster is clean, but as I was in there, I don't know if the video camera's gonna pick this up, but somebody just dumped a whole thing of water. Ah, don't get on the counter. All over the counter. And I'm still trying to cook the vegetables, which are probably burning by now. Okay, let's get lunch over with. This poor dog sits underneath the tape while the girls are eating and gets rice all in her every time. And it doesn't fall out, it like beds in her hair. So I have to actually like pull it out of her hair. All right, so currently we have all of our lunch mess. The bathroom is a complete disaster.
She peed on what? Oh my God. Seriously? This baby just peed on the desk. Wonderful. Okay, going out of the room. Y'all, this is never just a clean up and go. So I was in the bathroom cleaning up that mess. And as you saw, the baby peed on the desk. Well, it went all the way down. <clears throat> it went into the desk, so I had to clean that out. But it's also on the floor, and now it's all over these curtains. So now I have to wash the curtains, too. curtains are in the washing machine the bathroom is clean the kitchen is cleaned um, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-treat the couch so I'm gonna pre-treat all of this and then when the curtains come out I'll throw those in the wash when I finish this hopefully we will get to start on school for Lila today Why? are you ready for a nap no yes you want to go take a nap no yeah All right, so the twins have been asleep for about an hour now. Um, the big girls went out to the swamp again, um, and we decided to take school outside. <clears throat> and we're gonna do a little mini lesson outside, and then the girls are just gonna color and stuff while the twins are sleeping. Okay, so for school, the only thing that I'm doing like curriculum-wise today is um, the language arts lesson from The Good and the Beautiful. Um, she is in level K right now. For her math, we're going to do a color by number. It was for um, St. Patty's Day, so it's a little lucky leprechaun um, and it's addition color by numbers. So she'll do that, and then we might also do a um, review of her sight words as well. So that's what we're going to work on for the next 30 or 40 minutes um, just to get a little lesson in for today. Like to go far. Nope. For a walk. Good. I like books. All right, so we finished up school and the twins are up from their nap. They're running around the front yard naked, walking the dog, so can't show them. They're like absent in all my videos today because they've been naked all day. Um, I'm about to do this workout that I found on YouTube. I'll have the workout linked below in the description. Um, and I'll also go ahead and type it out so you guys can just screenshot it because they did not actually have it typed out. So I will type that out for you guys as well. But it is a full body workout. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Um, but it is going to be a lot of body weight and dumbbells. I'm going to be using um, 15 pound dumbbells for this.
Okay, so we ended up, my neighbor ended up did, coming over and we ended up doing the workout that I showed you guys along with another workout. I don't know where it's at, but I will post both workouts below. I'll separate them so you guys can see both workouts. Um, yeah, Frankie is home and he is now taking down the bouncy house. I set that up for the girls while we were out there working out to kind of keep them entertained. Um, and we are eating pizza for dinner. So regular old DiGiorno pizza for dinner. I'm, I have been meeting to do like a whole video on like how we are more plant-based than vegan um, because about 10% of our diet does come from some sort of animal product. We really don't actually eat meat. Um, if we do maybe once or twice a year, but sometimes we do have animal products like egg, mostly egg. Um, and then we will have, um, dairy sometimes like for pizza. Um, so we are having pizza for dinner. I did add on some extra vegetables on me and Frankie's. I put mushrooms, onions, bell pepper, olives, stuff like that. But we're going to have pizza and probably watch a movie and just relax with daddy. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Okay. Meanwhile, the kids are having some screen time. Yep, sorry. Better? Meanwhile, the kids are having some screen time. Mommy. Yeah. Can we cut this kiwi up? The kiwi up? Yeah, I'll cut it up with dinner. Where's your sister? Yep, anyway. Kids are having screen time. I'm cleaning up the house. Frankie's cleaning up outside still. All right, so this is what my living room currently looks like. I've got to get this straightened up. I just started a load of laundry. This is my third load of laundry today. Um, I'm washing all of our swamp clothes that we wore earlier. And the pizzas are in the oven. And Frankie is actually out there starting a fire. So I'll take you guys outside in a little bit once I get my house stuff done. Baby. We're not going to have another bowl. That's yours. Well, Mommy did get it, and I don't want to go to people's jewels. Well, then, okay, just tell her no ketchup. That's what Daddy would say. Mommy, yeah. Mommy, 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 all right, 8.14, dinner's done, house is a wreck, but we're going outside. Going to the campfire. Is it yummy? Look at Luna, she'll eat it. I like it. You have a stick, but the marshmallows are too hot. I mean, the fire is too hot. Okay, how many you got on there? Four. Four, <laughs> okay. Mommy, what? how old I am. Just like the, how old you are. Okay, Should roast them. six, how old I am? You can try. Mm, probably. <laughs> Where'd the marshmallows go? <laughs> What'd you do? To bring your blanket and sit on? That you're gonna sleep with later on? Um, I got gotcha. mm -hmm. Day at the campfire. Why are you doing that? Good you like. There's Emmy. Don't get so close to the camera. <laughs> we love campfires and quarantine. What's quarantine mean? We love marshmallows to welcome. <laughs> There's little Daisy. You want your marshmallow? And then we're little Rosie. Rosie, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Want to do it? I really hope you like this video for today. Bye, guys. I love my mom's channel also because I watch it at my grandma's and I just love her camera. And those that have not subscribed to her videos yet, please do. Bye guys! Like it? Let me see Daisy. Do you like Where's it? Here's the bucket. Do you like it crawling on you? Daisy, do you like it crawling on you? Do you like it? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you spill your protein powder. What'd you say? We don't what? Waste protein powder in here. <laughs> powdered peanut butter. 